Before the introduction, I will be introducing and explaining the first How to Train Your Dragon movie by Dean DeBlois. It is a movie trilogy franchise that is memorable from animation to voice acting and music with these fun characters come to life. The beginning starts off with Hiccup, who is one of the Vikings in the village, who is seen as weak, clumsy, and useless by the other Vikings despite being Gobber's apprentice for being a blacksmith. Hiccup describes that Berk is usually peaceful except for dragons, which steal sheep and destroy buildings or catapults. Hiccup wants to desperately try to be recognized as a good Viking in Berk and impresses Crust, named Astrid, by slaying a dragon as the other Vikings do. However, no Viking has has seen a knight fury, but Hiccup thinks he can be the first to shoot one down. After getting a good shot at the dragon, they end up flying to another side of an island. Hiccup also gets chased by a dragon who ends up dis who ends up destroying some firelit pillars with his father Stoic, the chief of Berk, scolding him soon after, along with other Vikings around Hiccup's age, made fun of how he shot down a dragon. Later on, Hiccup finds the Night Fury and frees it after realizing that he could not harm a dragon, but after Hiccup frees the Night Fury, the Night Fury thinks the same way, but roars in his face before taking off and crashing down. Hiccup, along with the Vikings around his age, begins dragon training to find weak spots along with defending and atta attacking the dragons. Later on, Hiccup wonders why the Night Fury hasn't harmed him, as the other dragons did in the training session before discovering scales for the Night Fury to try climbing up to no avail, and crashing back down from each attempt. Hiccup discovers this and gets out his sketchbook and pencil to sketch out the Night Fury to only find out that half of his tail was missing. Hiccup feels bad, but also horrified about the Night Fury not being able to survive on his own, but he needed to get closer by grabbing a fish for the dragon to come up to him. After the dragon approaches Hiccup, they eat the fish for Hiccup to find out the Night Fury, who has retractable teeth, appears toothless. After sharing the fish, Hiccup and Toothless start a new friendship, and they began a bond between Viking and Dragon. After built a new tail that is unable to help Toothless fly. Hiccup soon learns that dragons aren't what they seem to be in Viking's eyes, for they are known as horrible and dangerous creatures who are bloodthirsty from his friend Toothless. Later on, Astrid finds out about Toothless after finding Hiccup, who runs off for Toothless to catch her and bring her up to a tree. Hiccup then shows Astrid by taking her on a ride with Toothless, which also made her trust dragons. However, during the flight, Toothless gets called by the other dragons, who are bringing food into a volcano to feed a big dragon known as the Red Death. After discovering the nest, Astrid reminds Hiccup that he has to fight a dragon. When, when Hiccup has Vikings gather around the area, including his father, they let out the dragon, but when Hiccup drops his weapons along with his shield and helmet, which leads his father to scream to stop the fight. The dragon goes after Hiccup, which Toothless hears and comes to save Hiccup. After saving Hiccup, the Vikings were shocked but terrified of Toothless for Stoic and other Vikings to put Toothless down to cage him. Stoic yells at Hiccup until Hiccup wants him warns him about the dragon's nest and that only a dragon can find it, which leads Stoic to not listen and travel with Toothless to the island. Toothless flew to. After destroying the cave, the Red Death comes out and attacks. Before it could breathe fire, Hiccup is flying with Astrid and his Viking friends who the dragons to distract the Red Death and reach Toothless. Stoic frees Toothless and apologizes before Hiccup goes into the sky with Toothless and defeats the Red Death to only show Toothless saving Hiccup. Stoic is proud of Toothless brought his son to safety. In the end, Hiccup lost his foot, which is a prosthetic foot, and the Vikings and dragons trust each other in the end after they after seeing that they weren't beasts or bloodthirsty monsters, but kind and gentle creatures. <laughs>